Hello, my name is Maureen Nigel and please join me on my journey with all these lovely succulents. Hi guys, in today's video yes, I'm going to show you how to propagate the sedum golden glow. And here we have a clean cut, the clean cut meaning it breaks away from the stem. important to get a clean cut because you want to that's where it will start to grow it's a little bit big so I'm gonna cut a little bit more so I'm gonna take all these that I've propagated uh, that I just cut by letting them sit meaning them they would be calloused over. over that means if it's a wound it'll dry this over and will be easy to propagate and this is where i keep all my succulents that i want to propagate because the sun comes in and uh it's quite a nice platform for them to be and you can just draw the curtain when you don't want to see them so i find this really works for me and i'm going to take these new ones and just place them like that no particular order they will propagate. After a week or two, this is what you will find. Tiny little babies and with lots and lots of roots. We can see that today. The root system is quite established, so it's ready to go into the garden. So I've showed you step one, step two, and that's step three. Some uh, roots that I've propagated, but there's no pups. As you can see here, there's no pups. So uh, this is what I need to, uh, I'm going to show you how to work with that. And then I'm going to show you how to take out the pups from the leaf without damaging the roots, the pups or the leaf. And this is how I do it. I turn it to the back and I gently tug on this. This is just a, new, a normal tweezer that I use for myself. And I slightly pull it apart. But as you can see here, the roots came out alone. So my success was not, I was not successful in this. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna twist slightly. And the leaves are coming out so I can see this is a bit stubborn. So this is what I'll do now. I will take my scissors and I'll cut it Neha over there. So that ensures that I still have a part of the leaf, I still have some roots and my pups are still intact. So this will be a better option for me. I'm gonna try once more to take out the pup from the roots. It is a bit tricky and I don't want to lose these leaves cause these leaves are very delicate and sometimes it works very well sometimes you have it's a bit problematic so we're just going to start again to twist and turn and slightly tug at it and again i've lost some roots and i can see that's not working so this is where i stop take my scissors and i'm going to use half of this and i still got uh, less of a leaf and I've got the pop still intact with the top part of the leaf that will encourage growth as well. Let's try with the smaller one. Remember these are all trial and errors as well with me so you have to bear with me. Now this one broke closer to the tip where the leaf, a bit of the leaf is still intact. The leaf is coming off. But as you can see here, the roots are well intact and there's a bit of the leaf in there. So I do have my roots, I do have my pups, that's my pup that's intact and nothing is damaged and I have the leaf. So that's very good and very happy with that. So I'm gonna leave that to the side. So let's try with this one more time over here. I'm just gonna hold a little bit. And there I've got some of the leaves out and some of the roots as well so I'm happy with that now this is I'm gonna speak to you about this in a second 
And now I'm going to try one time without the tweezer. And that was very good. Most of the roots have come out. There is a few over here, but we're going to leave that aside and we're going to work with this. That's very good. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to try one more time. And success is very good on this one. Try on this. That was very good. Got good roots on that. But there's roots on this. So I'm, I'm going to speak to you about this just now. Just one more here. Now these leaves are very delicate. And I can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to judge and I'm going to cut that off. So I'm not going to waste any more time. And with these root system, I'm going to try and uh, cut it in half. And let's see where that takes me because the pup has not grown over here. So here I have my, just one more. This is just the easy way out to guarantee the plant will continue to grow because you've got the roots, you've got the leaf and you've got the pup. And uh, as you can see, I lost the leaf here, but I'm sad about that. And I've got some roots here. These ones with the roots still on, I'm going to try and put them back on my windowsill and see what happens. There's one here and there's another one here. And there's one more. These are where the roots came off. So these ones, what I'm going to do is put them back on my windowsill and see what happens. So I will give you an update on that. And these ones can go straight to the plant, to the soil, and it will grow. Thank you. Thank you for watching. So now I'm going to take my pups that I've removed from the leaf and I'm just going to place it in the soil. It's fine if the roots are jutting out. I'm just going to pop, uh, put it in the soil and press it down gently. And the ones with the leaf, I'm just going to do the same and cover the roots up in soil. And do that. And another one here. I'm just gonna put the few babies around. more and there we go so these are the ones with the half leaves and some of the roots up so this is what I'm going to do and I'm just going to leave it in a bit of sunlight and give you an update in the week's time and maybe take it after that thank you